Hello and welcome to Library Salad. Today's episode is DYI Footballs brought to you by the Monroeville Public Library in Pennsylvania. Hi, I'm Alice and that's right. We are going to be doing footballs, which you may not have heard of, but this is what the finished product is going to look like. A beautiful hydrangea and there's also many uses for that. We'll get to that a little bit later. Now, I like to think of the book ball as being the sister to book art. Now, when I say I like to say, that means five minutes ago, I just came up with that little thing. But if you haven't seen folded book art, you are in for a treat. I can tell you, um, this book is by Claire Youngs. And the reason I've got a couple of post-its out here is because I hope to make a couple of these. And folded book art means that you're using a book, so you've got both the front and back cover intact, and the paper is folded to produce a piece of art. In this case, a butterfly. So, let's see how this worked out. Okay, so there's just a couple of items, the basic supplies that you'll need. First is going to be, um, the easiest way to do this is to get yourself one of these handy dandy hole punches. I've got the scalloped one. You can easily get this on the internet um, because of the fact that when you punch it out, it's going to look like this and will make the edges perfect. If you wanted to cut them by yourself, that's fine. This is going to take just a lot more, a lot less time. Um, they call this a two and a half inch. I don't know where the measurements came from because that's not two and a half. What I did was I turned it upside down. I was like, okay, that's two and a half. But just if you want to get one this size, it's listed as a two and a half inch scalloped hole punch. Now, size of the ball. You can do any size. I think that for the size of these circles, this eight inch around, no, it was nine. My mistake. It was nine inches around. Again, your hydrangea, hydrangea your sizing, but that's what I think is going to work. Um, simply a pen that's going to help press it down. You've got your glue gun, lots of extra glue. Picking the right book. I opted for um, what started as a black and white book. This book is actually um, Reader's Digest Illustrated Guide to Gardening, 1978, I believe it was, because I knew that I would get the beautiful darker colors as it was aging, and then go into a little lemon. If you want to do this all bright white or colors, have at it. But that's what I chose. And then in order to get it to have um, different light and dark areas, and so that it's not too uniform, what I did was coloration wise, if you see, I've got the darker, aged pieces and then it goes into light ones i also like this particular book has a lot of illustrations to it that it's not just words but i have some that i took just the words for and then some that have the beautiful pictures so because it was a flower i went for a gardening book you can use anything you want i happen to this was um had obviously some uh, damage to it, which is why I'm using it. This isn't straight off the shelves at the library people. Um, you can also get a great book at the your local thrift store. So find the coloration that you like. You can do it even some highlighted. It has, this does have some blues and greens. That makes a nice piece. So um, I simply took a scissor to cut out what I needed and then was able to punch these out. Believe it or not, this plus these amount is about 125. Got to figure about another 125. 
I know you're saying, who has time for this? But think of it this way. You don't have to do it in one sitting. You could do a half hour one day, two weeks later, another half hour. You've got time until the holidays. Um, but the great part is that you can use these for a lot of different things. So that's the basics. That's how we started. I've got the glue gun ready. I'll move this on over. And the first part, let's see. I'm going to take one of the illustrated parts. And I'm going to keep that for the outside. And simply pen or pencil. Put it in the middle and then pull it up and take like every maybe two scallops and bring that up, bring that up. It's going to be a little higher on one side. That's okay because we don't want it. You see how some of the higher pieces, that's going to give it a more realistic, I don't know how real thick we're going, but realistic uh, component to it. So, and it doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay when you get to this part to just fold it and crinkle it. And the, this has the nice flat bottom to it. So I've got the bottom. I'm just gonna put a little dabble, do you? A nice amount, not too much of that. And then work it into the space that's next. Put it down so that the bottom is pushing down not too, a little firm press. Um, up to this point, I've been counting to 10. You know how the um, glue guns, that glue dries very quickly and it dries very firmly. So by having it like that, there it is. You just have to repeat that a lot of times. So got this and then let's just do one more. Because what I like is that I can even move it over instead of going center. And you saw how that's still a little slope. I can go even a little bit more to the edge. And then once again, or you can put it down. Bring that up. And then fold, fold. Of course, now that I'm doing like this, does it work? No. Uh, let's just keep it up then. All right, we're going... One, two, you can, three, four, one more, one more, press it together, bring it down. A little more on the glue, pick wherever you'd like. I like to get it where there's like a little bit of an open space. I'm not sure when I, I, have put it very compact. I think the next one that I do, I'm going to give it a little less compact and see um, what I think about that. Again, whichever you're comfortable with is fine. And what I'm going to do is simply keep going around and around. But remember, not all done at once. It looks like a lot of work, but it's not. It's first, it's very simple. And if you just put a little music on and just it's a good relaxing thing. You could do this by watching TV. Be careful of the glue gun, okay? Remember, hot. But other than that, you don't. it doesn't need a lot of concentration. Um, and I'm gonna continue this to be able to show you the final product. So here we go. Okay, so with this, this is the next day from when we uh, recorded most of it being done. Just took one more day to get this done. I just simply have this little colored piece in, luckily it came out, um, to show you how to get the last pieces in. Not difficult at all, because I was a little concerned when I got to this point, how is that going to work with this basic? This is compact enough where it's actually very sturdy. I wouldn't stand on it, but what you can simply do is be able to press down without hurting this other side. So for the case of the one last piece, um, we continued to do the same way I showed you a little bit earlier. Um, you can even be a little more relaxed with it and just fold in both sides, press and press. Try the way it works for you. You know, just give it a little experiments, see what you like. 
Um, you really can't go too wrong if you, there's one you don't like. There's no way anyone's going to notice that a particular one isn't quite, you know what? This is a good one. Remember I left the little hole? Let's play where it is. Let's call it right over here. Okay, so when you've got it, you can simply press that last one all the way in. You're going to hold it for about that 10 seconds, and that's going to be the finished product. You can make it, use this for a couple of things. For the last one, if you put in a ribbon and tack that down, even with just glue, you could make an ornament. I think it also looks really nice on display like that. It can go into a basket. So they really do make a great gift. Now, after the fact that I've done all this, it's a couple of things that I would say I would do that make things a little bit easier. Just like when you're cutting uh, the paper down, you can easily put two or three sheets together. Um, one at a time, does it make sense? Um, remember, it's not origami. It's not a really crisp, exact fold. You're gonna fold it carefully, but it's okay if you sort of move it around. Um, again, be easy on yourself. And let's see, the special book. I thought that, oh, wouldn't that be lovely? It's a flower, let's get a flower book. Look carefully. I don't know that you can really see what kind of book was used. So you really don't have to be too exact to pick out a book. You find one, good coloration. I would just say go for it. So this is a great way to recycle books. And special announcement. After this week, Library Salad will be every two weeks. Not every one week, every two weeks. Things are really happening at the library. A lot of things of extended hours that we have so that um, we're going every two weeks. But hope you'll be back in two weeks to watch us. Hope you'll get try one of these and see you then.